Hi guys, it's your girl Beauty by BB, and today's video is going to be a little different. For the very first time, I am doing hair reviews. Oh, and I'm actually reviewing hair from three different companies, just condensing it into one video for you guys. This hair in particular, I made it into a wig. This is not a weave. Pretty much all the hair that I'm going to be showing you guys are wigs. Two of them I made into a wig. One was actually a custom made wig. So yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, so the first company I'm going to be reviewing... first hair that I'm actually going to be reviewing is from Havana House of Beauty. Right now, I am wearing the Indian Virgin Bundles. I believe it's 220 inches, 118 inch, and an 18 inch closure. It's really soft. I'm going to show you guys what it looked like when I first got the hair. I didn't even use all four packs. It was more like two and a half that I used. This was from the third bundle. This is what was left over. As you can see, the hair has a really nice wavy pattern. It was pretty easy to straighten as well. This is the hair straightened. I am actually going to straighten it on camera really quickly so you guys can see. I wanted to record making this wig, but because I am... I've always made wigs, but I'm not really professional at it, so I don't know, you know, if I'm doing it, if it's gonna work for you guys. I made it so, I usually make them so that they work for me. It may not be the right way, I don't know. But if you guys wanna see a video on that, just let me know and I will try my best to to actually do it um, if I don't catch stage fright. You know, it's, it's, it's real out here. Anyways, this is the last bundle that was left over, as you can see. And see that nice bouncy texture that it's got. I'll show you guys how long the hair is. Don't judge my outfit because I'm in some comfy clothes right now. You feel me? Yeah, this is pretty much the hair, and it kind of hits right, right above my barrier. You know, mom's like, I actually really love this hair. I really, really do. So far, I actually made this wig day before yesterday yesterday was my actually my first time actually wearing the hair and kind of seeing how it behaves during the day there wasn't well i haven't noticed too much shedding from the hair since i've been wearing it tangling haven't noticed that either but i'll do an update video i'm gonna wash the hair again and you know see how the hair holds up in about a few weeks or so i didn't really pluck the closure part of it too much i just put a concealer or just my foundation right in here blended it in a bit called it a day i didn't really see the point of actually recording that part only because there's so many videos on how people do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just pluck, 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 pluck. Take your time before you jack your closure up because ain't nobody got time for that. So um, I'm going to go ahead and straighten the hair because right now it's, it is kind of straight, but it's not really that bone straight look only because I sat it on my wig hat or my wig head, put it on my dresser, and the hair was just kind of like doing its own thing. So I'm going to straighten it out get all the kinks out and yeah so you guys can take a look this hair looks really nice you see it has like a really nice shine to it but not really overbearing it's like a natural a natural shine not like synthetic hair shine but you know natural healthy shine <laughs> So I went ahead and flat ironed the hair so you guys can see it in its glamorous glory. So we're going to be moving on to the next wig, but as for this specific beautiful, beautiful hair, the Havana House of Beauty, I'm going to go ahead and list them somewhere on the screen as well as link them down below for you guys to check out. Now let's hop into the next one. Alright guys, so this hair is a little different. This it, well, a little, it's very different. It's extremely full. Unlike the Havana House of Beauty hair, although it's very, very beautiful, this one is extremely full. This is what I go for when I'm feeling 
exotic like lion babe type exotic or SCA. I used to call her SZA. I used, well, SCA. I said her name wrong again. It took me the longest time to figure out her name was not SCA, that it's SZA. And to this day, I still call her SCA because it just sounds better to me. This one, I was actually able to fit all packs of hair in because, like I said, with the spacing, I wanted it to be very, very full. As you can see, this is actually the Maven Kinky Straight Hair. This is one of their, well, this is their newest texture. I believe I have it in 220s and 218s and then an 18 inch closure, I believe. I can double check. I'll double check those details and list them down below for you guys. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the hair right now. I'm just combing it out just so you guys can see what it looks like. This one, I did not pluck the roots and I didn't use foundation on the part. I just kind of slapped it on there and kept kept the life going. This was another wig that I had made. I stopped wearing weaves because I noticed that my edges were kind of thinning and I was just like, oh hell no, like that is not okay, like ever. So, um, wigs it is. Uh, as you can see, I've got this hair in, it's so huge and full and nice. This one, Morley, it's more like, I don't want to say dull, but I don't know if it's because I haven't put anything in it. That could be the case. I'm actually gonna try putting some argan oil in the hair and I'm gonna just flat iron it out just to see what it looks like. I was gonna do the barrel curls, but I just don't, I don't feel like it right now. I don't, it just makes me hot and I just, <sighs> probably do it another day if you guys wanna see what the big curls look like in this hair, but it's just not happening today, Beach. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry about it. Hair doesn't really have as much as a shine as the Havana Beauty hair. It looks it looks like natural black hair that's been blown out. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put the argan oil in there, y'all. But this is what it looks like, like, you know, after I just flat iron it a little bit, just get it a little bit straighter, especially because the last few times that I wore this hair, I did not put any heat in it at all, so it kind of just poofed back up just a little bit. So I'm just flat ironing it just to get it to lay down properly for me. I'm taking this argan oil, just put a little bit, a lot of it in my hands, and I'm just running it straight through the hair. This is pretty much how I am gonna flat iron it, just for time's sake at least. This hair, I usually like to separate it a little bit more because it's thicker. But for time's sake and due to the fact that my camera is currently on 35%, we are going to be taking a quick way out of the beach, okay? Get rid of any crinkles like you see here that are in the hair. When I first got the hair, it had little ripples in it just like this. They were probably a little bit more defined. So right now I'm just getting rid of those little ripples that are in this hair. Due to me, I guess not wearing it, and then I put it inside of like I have a hair bag that I can put it in, and I'm not sure if it's because it can get a little hot in my room. Sometimes or a little humid, it probably just puffs back up just a little bit. Um, especially because I haven't really been putting much heat in it at all lately. Definitely straightens back out beautifully. Okay, so as you can see, this is the hair flat iron. This is the kinky straight maven hair straightened out. It resembles natural hair in its blown out state. This hair is absolutely beautiful. It's extremely thick, like it is extremely thick. So for those of you out there who love really thick, big hair, this is for you. I'm gonna go ahead and run my fingers through the hair, comb it through, see if I get any shedding with it, which I haven't really experienced much of since I've had this hair. Um, not really, I don't know if you can see that. It's just like one or two strands of hair. Really not that bad. Yeah, nothing's coming out. Oh wait, just one strand, but 
normal shedding. It's not anything too serious. Like you're not gonna wake up and have like a freaking coat laid out in front of you, a fur coat from your hair or anything like that. That's not the deal. Hair is very beautiful as well. Very full, very natural looking. If you guys wanna see what this hair does look like curled, I have a few pictures up on Instagram of when I curled this hair. Um, you can always go ahead and take a look at those to see what the hair looks like curled up. If you guys wanna see a tutorial on how I got my hair to look that way, I'll be more than happy to squeeze that in for you guys. <laughs> Enough talking on and on and on. Let's get into the third wig. Let's go. Let's, let's get it each. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Alright guys, so this is the last and final wig. This hair is actually from Diva's Wigs. I'm not entirely sure what the style of this wig is, so I'm going to go ahead and list it down below. I'm going to look it up. List it down below for you guys so you can check it out. This hair was actually inspired, well, to say, a lot of their wigs are inspired by celebrity hairstyles. This one in particular was inspired by Sierra, so it came in like a natural brown color, pretty much the same color of Sierra's natural hair, but I wanted mine purple. Cool thing about this company is they also do custom coloring. This was the color that I chose, um, and I chose to leave the roots dark and have the purple going throughout the rest, so it's kind of like an ombre type of thing going on. This is a full lace wig, so it's laced all the way through, meaning that you can part it anywhere. I have mostly been wearing it down. Recently, I wore it with like a cute little bun at the top of the head, well, top of the head, what? At the top of my head. I haven't really tried pinning up the whole wig. I haven't mastered that yet. I'm not that advanced. Not yet, not yet. I I'm gonna get there, but not yet. This is virgin hair as well. It's very, very soft. Came straight just like this. I'm actually thinking about cutting it a little shorter. I'm scared to do it myself because every time I take scissors to the head, it's, it's, it's never, never a good situation. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and straighten this hair out so you guys can see just what it looks like in its straightened state. Pretty much the hair straightened. I kind of pulled the wig back a little bit just so that the bang wasn't so long in my face. But this is the hair, as you can see, Stops right here on my collarbone or at my collarbone. Like I said, this hair is from Diva's Wigs. Thank you guys, huge thank you for watching my first hair review video. I'm gonna be doing, if you guys wanna see update videos on these hairs, just to see how they hold up after the first few washes, 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 definitely let me know. Yeah, it's really vibrant. I don't know if you guys can tell, but when I'm moving closer, it looks blue. When I move further back, for some reason, it looks purple. I don't know if you guys can tell or if it's just me. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My very first hair review video of these three companies and their beautiful, beautiful hair. Um, all the details for all three companies are going to be listed down below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. That is Beauty by BB, both on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.